Hi everyone, I'm Michelle with Baby Lock. Today's Palette 11 video, we're going to cover how to run your Palette 11 software as administrator on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PCs. Sometimes running a computer as administrator with a program like Palette 11 will prevent it from having glitches as you're designing. Let's get started. Windows 10 operating system is what they call a permission-based operating system. In other words, it will allow you as an administrator to have a software run. If you are not the administrator on the software, then Windows will determine how much of the software can run without causing conflict for you as a user. So when you're running a software and you find that a command is grayed out or a function is no longer working as it used to, it could be that your Windows 10 operating system has determined that that may not be in your best interest to press that button or execute that command. So it just grays it out. For palette software, we would recommend that you run your software as administrator. And to do that, it really isn't very difficult at all. It's a simple point and click. And I'm going to show you how we can do that easily from your desktop. Now you'll notice that here on my desktop, I have palette 11 and it has this blue and yellow shield. That indicates that my software is already running as administrator. And that's because I took the following steps. I right click on the icon and as you see, it has a run as administrator option, but I would have to do this each time I open the software and I don't wanna do that. So I come down here to the Properties menu, and I left-click one time, and it opens up this window. Here is a Compatibility tab. You want to left-click this tab, and you don't want to affect change to anything other than this box right here. that says Run This Program as Administrator. You check the box with a click, and then you come here and you say apply and then OK. Now, while the badge, the blue and yellow badge, may not appear on your icon right away, it will once you reboot. And then when you open up your software, you will see a pop-up window that comes up and it will ask you, will you allow this software to make changes to your computer? And the answer is always yes. And the name of the software that comes through is E-M-B-E-D-I-T, Embroidery Edit, also known as Layout and Editing. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.